Well, welcome to another episode of A Helping Hand. Dave Ona here on TV3 along with Jennifer Benzik, Hello. manager here at the store. So, and you're still with us? I'm still with you. Yes, it's, it's uh, kind of a week by week kind it of thing. It is a week by yeah, week yeah, type so. of thing where I've got another appointment today, so we'll see what happens. Tune in next week and find <laughs> and out. And find more. out. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, what's happening this week at uh, the thrift store? We had uh, pickups yesterday, donation pickups, and we had so many things come in. Tons of home decor stuff, um, a lot of furniture again come in. Um, so come and check check that out here. Um, we've just been really busy trying to keep things out on the floor. So Now we do have kind of a special presentation. We do. We've Very a, excited. We've got a couple of visitors with us today. We have, have Neil Olson and, and Dwayne Lindsay. You fellows are both with the uh, Disabled American Veterans Group? Chapter 31. Okay, and that's headquartered here in Detroit Lakes? Detroit Lakes. Okay. Um, now, you have been uh, collecting uh, clothing items and things, is that correct? Tell us a little yeah, bit about have, how uh, you're involved. Two trailers here in Detroit Lakes, one at the old St. Clair Station on Crossland Central Market, another one on an A Street at uh, Refuge Warehouse, okay. and two other bins. And, uh, Where are they located? Legion parking lot okay. and Michael's Furniture's parking lot. Okay, now three of those locations, I believe people can simply drop off, All use clothing them. items and All so forth, them. and uh, at the, the refuge garage yes. as well. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. And I understand that recently you've been uh, able to take one of these trucks, yep. uh, trailers up to, up to Fargo-Moorhead, yep. and you've come back with something special for the, yeah. the refuge yeah, uh, and the thrift store here. Participation check. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are so excited. Thank you. You're <laughs> so, so we would encourage our viewers to to make donations as they're able and yes. and uh, uh, help in this this whole uh, this whole process. Our our money from that we raise is shared with them on our our partner donations, and what we other money we get is spent on veterans programs here in the Lakes area. Okay. Helping veterans get to Fargo to the hospital and other programs. Okay, well, thank you so much for your help and, and again, remember to make those donations. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Yes, You're and welcome. thank you. We are so blessed and so excited to be able to partner up, so. Now, as we speak, your uh, garage sale is going on over in yes. the warehouse. Yes, yep, it sure is. And uh, and what else is coming up uh, with with uh, the thrift store With here. the thrift store, we have a bag sale coming up on October 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, Monday, okay. Tuesday, and Wednesday. $4 a bag, fill your bag, clothes, um, kids' clothes, adult clothes, and shoes. So come check us out for that, okay. too. Okay, sounds good. Uh, again, open daily Monday through Saturday. Monday, Monday through Friday from 9 to 6 and Saturday from 9 to 4. Right in downtown Detroit Lakes, we encourage you to stop by. We'll be back in just a moment. Thank you. Alrighty, welcome back. We're here uh, downtown Detroit Lakes at the Helping Hand Thrift Store and, and visiting us once again, Randy Kohler, Community Outreach Coordinator for the Refuge. Good, good day. Be, good to be back, Dave. Yeah, Thanks good, for having me. Good to have it's you. It's always good when I can be seen live with you. Okay. Good for my image. Oh, yeah. Or is it good for yours? I believe so, <laughs> yes, yes. Let's, let's go both ways. There, what so. what an exciting day here to have the Disabled American Veterans Service come in. Give us a check like that. Want to partner up with us as we want to partner up with them over at our Compassion House and bring in the disabled American vets to be residents at our Compassion House. We have a room designated for uh, for uh, handicaps, and we're broadening that. I I'm not sure what the number is up to, but it went from three to five for sure that I know that we're going to be able to take in. Mm -hmm. So that's really big for us, and the construction comes and carries on and on and on. We're really getting close. Um, we are crunching numbers right now to see what the final tally is going to be, and we're going to ask the, the community to come in and be a part of our open house. Next week, you're going to learn more about our open house. Lynette Price and Jeannie Mercer are going to be here live from the Compassion House, and they're going to tell you more about all of that. Um, but I want to share with you that in October, the end of October, we're going to have our big dog chili cook-off, and, and we're encouraging people to come in for that. Last year, that was by far our most simplest and, and, and best uh, financially uh, fundraiser that we did, and we had the most fun. Peggy Cummins, who works here at the thrift store, won the contest okay. last year, and she may or may not have to pass the torch, <laughs> hand it down. So we encourage everybody to come with that. And as always, we got the thrift store, the, uh, of course, the thrift store, but we have the, the refuge going wide open. So 7 a.m., come in for uh, lattes, breakfast rolls, donuts, 
Um, and we also have coffee and we serve a breakfast on the other end in the morning from 5.30 to 6.30. People are always welcome to come into that. Uh, Tom Cummins does his Bible study there at 7.30 and that's been a real huge success and for us. And that's open to anybody that may want to stop by? Open to anybody. Okay. okay, so I was watching last week's programming and you were talking about the number of people that you have served over this past year in comparison to years previous and your numbers just are continuing, just continuing skyrocketed. to grow. And the, so. night, the awesome thing about that, ladies and gentlemen, is we got a, a food company, that, a food bank that is partnered up with us. And they're bringing us donations every week. As a matter of fact, when I'm done here, I'm going to go lay some asphalt with Mel, and then I'm going to pick up a food donation. <laughs> so tonight and tomorrow, um, every Thursday night and Friday, I want to encourage you to come and come to the refuge and get some bread and some sweets. And, and you can stop by the uh, thrift store. We'll have bread out here, and you guys can come and get it here, either place. We encourage you all to come and join us, and thanks for having us. And good fellowship there all the time. Good too. fun and fellowship, yeah, yeah, such yeah. as so, with you and I. Indeed. So, uh, uh, again, your chili cook-off coming up toward the end of October. That'll be held at the Refuge, at the refuge. I'm guessing. Okay, and, and uh, your open house for the Compassion House. Coming up sometime in November? Are sometime you, in November are you here, thinking? and we're going to let you guys know that next week. And remember... D-A-V, a trailer at the 8th Street, a trailer over at the Anglo-American, and uh, at My Michael's Furniture, and mm. over in Audubon also. Come and partner up with us to help the disabled American vets. All righty, Randy. It's always good to have you with us, and thank you so much for watching. Uh, be looking for us again next week. We're here with a helping hand, uh, downtown Detroit Lakes. Thanks. God bless.